We did the basics with the Stacey Keach interview. He was uh, genius and up at smoke. It endeared him with the younger crowd. He certainly was no George Went. Well. <laughs> I want another shot at George Went. Or Lou Grant. <laughs> oh, I like Lou. Yeah. Oh, please. He I love the Lou. <laughs> I wanted him to hate me. He was such a smug asshole Job that well day. well done. <laughs> well, I've adjusted because... Uh, at NEW, I used to just go after everyone, and then you, me and you realized, oh, fuck, no one wants to do our now show. No one wants to come on. So now I pick my spots, and, yeah. and he deserved the beating he got in Vegas or L.A., <laughs> wherever the fuck He was a were. lovely man. Lou? Yeah. Lou was an asshole. Oh, he was very nice. And Lou uh, Ooh. believes in some 9-11 crap. Yeah. Hey, we never played that disc. If, if E-Rock could find that, I think he took it back, but... He does. He he believes in that shit. He was on Adam Carolla's podcast, and uh, yeah, he's a, he's a truther. Well, good thing. Good old for the Lou. Truthers. Lou's a, us, a truther. Keeps us gatekeepers in check. You think he's liberal? Uh, just a little bit. Yeah, yeah. It, oh, he says, he, oh. he he's operating yeah. on the one yard line. <laughs> he definitely is. <laughs> I'm obsessed with that because Chris Matthews said he operates on the forty. He's, forty. He's he's just. He's just so to the left. Full of shit. So if he's just to the left, then a Lou, uh, a Lou Grant is on the goal line, I guess, trying to punch it in. He doesn't he's operate fun. on the forty. Too bad there's not a seventy. Yeah, <laughs> he's not on the forty, Chris, Ma Chris Matthews. Hey, he's man, lying. No. He told me he he operates on the forty, so I believe him. Forty, please. You want to hear Ed Asner? I mean, I, I'd love to. I don't know what the fuck we're gonna start doing on the show today, so we might as well. I like hearing uh, Ed Asner talk about uh, this horse shit. From the Adam Carolla podcast. We've been meaning to play this for a while, and uh, here you go. Ed says he thinks 9-11 was a conspiracy. Oh, Ed, what do you think? You're going to get him started? Uh, uh -oh. You're going to get him started on the Not what you in the building? Okay. What? Uh, What's going on? Conspiracy? Uh, really? Oh. What's up, Ed? Uh -oh. What do you know? Go ahead. No, I just, I just believe it. Huh. What's the conspiracy I, I, part? What's the conspiracy part? Yeah, I mean that you believe in. Matt, you want to go out in the parking lot and put your no, head in the They did it to go to war? Is that what you're saying? I mean, I, these, these, these are all facts which are out there. If people mm -hmm. who may take the time to stop Let's and listen. Let's hear it. Uh, Rob Schneider <laughs> said, Ed, I thought you'd know better. But I don't think he's examined it by any means. And so I, uh, uh, I preach it. What? Let's hear it. Uh, no high rise has ever gone down by fire. <laughs> I love that gag. Those buildings fell at the rate of gravity in 10 uh, seconds uh, flat. All, all this shit. So we're close to it. Can we do a speed round, though, please? It's just all of the this. the listeners have heard this over I know, and over again. I know. But the speed round. It's all the same Debunk shit. Debunk that really fast in, in less than a minute. No high rise has ever been brought down by fire. How about a high rise that was completely based on steel and its structural integrity? And uh, the fact that uh, uh, the fire was hot enough to soften it, not melt it into liquid. It didn't turn into the fucking uh, Terminator 2. <laughs> but it was soft enough where it buckled. Uh, the weight of the building itself brought the building down. And that fathead, that fathead uh, Rosie O'Donnell believes the same shit. Of course. Fire can't, she said, fire, fire can't, can't melt, melt metal. Right. It's like, how do you think they make metal, you dumb fatty? They use fire <laughs> to <laughs> melt it and then form it into fucking sty beams into and shit. shit. Fire you can melt dunce? anything. Hot enough fire can. can melt anything. Yes. How about the sun? Do you think the sun can uh, melt? The sun has fire all over it. The sun's on fire. <laughs> Very good. All right, Ed Asner moves on. I like the way this guy thinks. And did he serve in the military? <laughs> the Civil War. <laughs> he's Boo Grant. <laughs> <laughs> I hate Lou Grant now. Oh, he's all right. He's just old. He I sounds so old. I, he does. He's just he's out funny of touch. to an MTM. And he's, he's quoting every one of these already been debunked 800 times. Facts. Whoa, he wasn't For funny on MTM. Maritime Morning, sure he was. Oh, yeah, he, he was, was more of a straight guy there, oh, wasn't he? he was, no, he was great. Ted Knight was hilarious. Yes, he had but some great ways of just, yes. yes. But the way he, he would dismiss Ted and shit was hysterical. Yeah. He'd pull that whiskey bottle out of his uh, desk drawer oh. and just let Mary ramble on about an idea and then just tell her no I and have he, a walk out of the office. Dude, he was hilarious. It was really funny in that. Hey, you're, you're spunky. Thank you. <laughs> I hate spunk. I hate spunk. <laughs> I might have to go back and watch the MTM. Yeah, he was, he was great. Murray was the one who had nothing. <laughs> Mur. Mur. Yeah, he threw out an occasional stupid line. Yeah. He, he, Gavin McLeod had shit. Murray was just the, yeah, the proverbial yeah. straight guy, the other guy they needed in the room. And well, Rhoda. 
Yeah. Oh, fuck. Yeah. yeah, this video is doing well, man. Somebody filmed... It's all over the place. You'll find... Maybe I'll tweet this. it. Oh, look at This fucking... <laughs> I think it's outside Pittsburgh. Very, very steep little uh, side street that I guess people use in the morning Packed to commute. Packed with ice. Packed with ice. And somebody just sat there with a camera watching one dummy after another go over the top of this hill, realizing it's a sheet of ice. And then just sliding all the way down the hill. Look at this guy's trying to put a cone up. He's trying up. to put a cone so, up. That's a good idea. So other people won't do, you know, go down the road. Those are some... Those are always a uh, great... Uh, pieces of footage. I love watching sliding cars. Oh, yeah. I don't know Absolutely. why. I have, like an, hours. I have like an inner conflict watching that. Like one part of me wants to laugh like really hard, but then the other part of me wants to say, what a fucking asshole. Go out there and fucking help these people. Well, Stand on the <laughs> apex of the hill and be like, no, 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 it's ice. Fuck that. Well, it's getting some good vid. The guy filming was definitely way too far away because he zoomed out and he his... You could see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then they showed a guy trying to get up the hill and he's just sliding backwards. <laughs> I think he finally got up that. there to basically say, Stop coming down this fucking hill. All right, back to Ed Asner from the Adam Carolla po uh, mm -hmm. podcast, 9-11 Truther, Ed Asner. Here's Ed as somebody who, who's done a little I don't want to take away nah, John, no, no, no. No, from no, this is, this is good. And I just orders. want to see Matt squirm anyway. Uh, <laughs> the, no, seriously, because uh, and here's how I, I know it to, to have happened. The, the, the I-beams that this thing is built of, they put fire retardant material on these I beams. If mm. you go into an underground parking structure and you look mm. up, you see something that looks like it's had co yeah. acoustic cottage cheese stuff blown all over it. Well, mm. that's fire retardant mm -hmm. because steel does melt at a, at a fairly low temperature and they put fire. Now, I had heard, Ed, that when the impact of the plane knocked a lot of that stuff off of these beams and then when the jet A fuel started burning, the, the beams melted. But to that, you would say what? Bullshit. Really? <laughs> well, then who's be who's behind it then? Well, uh, we'll never know from the type of well, investigation. Who do you think is behind it? I think that there is a certain area of government mm -hmm. which, which probably participated in this. P participated in what way? Turn what? a blind eye or actually participated? Well... Uh, I mean, the in a more proactive way. The couldn't have way. brought them down by themselves. Bombs, so you're maybe? saying that there were explosives, in, explosives yes. in the building. Yeah. Why did Building 7 come down? You mean the one that was not one of the World <laughs> Trade? A right. hundred <laughs> yards away from the Twin Towers. That one came down as well. Mm -hmm. But why would that one come down? Well, I don't know. Why but, I mean, they put explosives in that one? Mm -hmm. Well, I don't know. I yeah, don't 300, know. 300 know. feet away. Is not that big when he you're said talking. He said a thousand yards, isn't it? Right? I think he said a hundred yards. He said a hundred yards. Oh. Yeah, three hundred feet. Not that far away when two aircraft hit two giant buildings and fuel and debris and everything else fly out all over the fucking place. Yeah, the building got severely Plus, damaged. Wouldn't there be some shaking going on? A little shaking, a whole lot of shaking going on. You know what they Which forget? Could cause some structural damage, possibly. Yeah. The uh, it's it's the, the beams that were it's not just the beams melting is they were kind of they hanging, the beams were built where the floors would hang yeah. on the outer yeah. beams by and they only had like one what are they called that they would hang by, yeah like a flange all right one flange had they had two they said they might have withstood it mm. well, why but they, they only they had put two one. flanges in because who expected oh my that God. to happen. I don't want to know that for a while I don't want to know there's one flange holding up a floating <laughs> floor. <laughs> Do we have Whoops. one flange in this building? No, but there was a lot of them. But I mean, if, if they had all been doubled, right, right. they said it might have held out. But once once that uh, buckled a little bit in the flange and it snapped, then there was the whole thing kind of like an erector set opened and fell. It's not a that house complicated. House of Cards? Yes, I've said that many times. I was yelling that on 912. <laughs> they called me the House of Cards kid. <laughs> You ever build a house of cards when you were little? Oh, of course. Yeah, see how high you could get yes. it? Me and my friend jerked off in one. <laughs> Boom. Oh, <boy. laughs> There was two ways to do it, too. There was the uh, very hard way when you were a kid, which is just take the cards and try to build a house out of it. Mm -hmm. And there was the cheating way where you bent the card in the middle oh, right. and, and built it and angered your parents because they couldn't now play Pinochle. That was the game of choice at your house? I pinochle. hated Pinochle because there were always Pinochle decks around the house and you wanted to play like 21 as a kid or right. any other game kids play. And... Uh, and it was just all fucking face cards. <laughs> what is this? Pinochle? This stinks. I don't even know how you play Pinochle. I don't either. Or is it Pinochle? All I remember is a bunch of my, my parents and their friends, and, and they're drunk, and they're just like 
drinking and throwing cards down on the table and going like, like real hard, throwing a tag on. Ah, yo. Just like, da. That's my memory of my well, well, parents playing cards with their friends, flapping the card down, going, ah. Were they playing for money? Who knows? Maybe they were playing uh, to swap lives Playing a and swing. Stuff. They were playing a swing. Yeah. I have no idea what was going on back then. If I, I don't if, know. If I win this game, I get your wife. I swear we're swinging. We're swinging. <laughs> <laughs> More Ed Asner as a truther on the Adam Carolla podcast. Ed. But, Ed, don't you? Here's the way I feel about our government. I don't feel like they're good enough to pull this off. <laughs> and I feel like they're always talking. There's somebody talking at some point. Like, I'll give you an example. You know, when, when we went in, when, when Bush said, hey, uh, Saddam Hussein has weapons of mass destruction, mm -hmm. and thus that is our excuse to roll in there and take mm -hmm. that place over. And then later on, we found out, well, it turns out he didn't have any of the WMDs. So... Why did we find out there were no weapons of mass destruction if our government is good at doing conspiracies? Wouldn't somebody said, hey, dig a hole in the desert, put a couple of barrels of uh, mustard gas in there, and then Bush is not going to look like an asswipe, and then we're not going to look like asswipes for declaring war on a country because they had weapons of mass destruction that Great we never point. found. How could we couldn't even pull off that simple task? <laughs> Can you point that right there? That's an amazing argument. That, it's I've said that for a long yeah, time, and, yeah. I, and I don't mean to say it's an amazing because I've said it, but it's like such a common sense thing. And I had a, uh, that was kind of my point with uh, the guy, who's the guy in Dallas who we like, but is a uh, conspiracy guy from, from Texas, or wherever he's from. Oh, Alex Jones. Alex Jones. Oh, Alex. I was like asking about that, but I was kind of asking about why, why not just do this? If, we, if, if they're so amazing, they, they can dog, pull this off. They could pull off 9 11 without a hitch. Uh, uh, and and uh, make everybody believe this, and, and, except and, for the certain few privileged, uh, intelligent people that don't think it ever happened. And to this day, no one has talked. Yeah. Why not be able to just, yeah, in the middle of a desert that we now control, utterly and completely control, fly in some real nasty shit, bury it, like uh, Adam Carolla was saying, dig it up and go, ah, ha! Here we go. Oh, cocktail time, huh? Harvey! 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 Cocktail time. When he came in and saw the two drinks. Oh, cocktail time! <laughs> Best line probably in TV shows ever. Gee, I never knew Davy Crockett was so fat. And he couldn't say anything because he was so wrong. <laughs> and the kid was so small. <laughs> they were sleepies in his eyes still, and he's just like, ew, fat man. But how perfectly delivered on live TV did that little kid hit that, that out of the was park? Perfect. I never knew Davy Crockett was so fat. <laughs> show still funny. Pow. <laughs> Well, there you go. Adam makes uh, the same point there. Yeah. Let's see what Ed says. Oh, he's got to come back. <laughs> I, because it wasn't the same Department of Government. Is it different? Yeah. The ones that aren't good at conspiracy. That's right. <laughs> Don't you feel, though, that somebody's going to pop up on 60 Minutes? No, they point? die too easily. Oh, really? You know, the one, the one... He is insane with this. Like, like this is... And he's one of the worst arguers about this I've ever heard. He's very bad. This is, like, I've heard some of these fucking truthers, man, where, where at least they have some kind of answer for it. Even if it's the one you heard a thousand times, the one you can uh, dispel. Ed's just like, well, it's a different secret branch of the government. It's, oh, really? And I like how Adam threw that one in. Oh, the one that's not good at conspiracies. <laughs> Wouldn't they put the best bestest conspiracy branch of the government on the burying uh, WMDs? I think they would. And finally, one more from Ed Asner. Mm. To what? What's the upside of this? To be able to declare war? This, this certainly helps. But is there an easier way to do that? I mean, like I said, just plant some WMDs somewhere and gas a couple of uh, locals. And kill and... 3,000 people? Well, no, I'm saying, why and go... Launch, and launch it in sufficient numbers. I feel so, like we've started wars over less. We I, have, <laughs> but I think the people, in all of their stupidity, have gotten a little smarter. So you can't easily pull a Gulf of Tonkin. Mm -hmm. Oh, so two It's got to be on a bigger center. scale. Yeah, no. and the, and the lying has to be bigger. Uh, the, the two chiefs of the 9-11 Commission have both stated that, that uh, the CIA did not completely inform them. That they were denied information. Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. like, and my bottom, my bottom line in all of this is that this country, which is the greatest, strongest country that ever existed in the world, 
in terms of power, supposedly had a defense which could not be uh, penetrated all these years, waiting for the Russians. So they thought no, no, no. they cannot handle the but fact it was But all of that was eradicated See? by 19 Saudi Arabians, supposedly. Exactly. Mm -hmm. yeah. that a Some kick of in whom the ass? didn't even know how to fly. One of the, 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 the one that supposedly flew into the Pentagon did a 180 degree oh, turn Jesus which experienced Christ. pilots turn. say can't be done. Yeah, right, exactly. He couldn't fly, that's why. He couldn't fly. It was supposed to hit the fucking White House or the Capitol, dummy. <laughs> might have just got lucky. But yeah. And that's another thing, the luck factor. There might have been so some many, luck involved. like, luck factors and just shit that happens. But they still only pulled it off 75%. Yeah. The last one fit. Like, the last one failed. People forget, like, the passengers took the... Once people knew what was happening, yeah, the passengers took up. the last flight. That, like, oh, you, you think that happened? Uh. Was there... They flew to Cleveland, were <laughs> let off, and they're on vacation somewhere in Costa Rica. You think there might have been a few guys that just chickened out, too? Said, fuck this. Fuck this. Allah, uh, Allah I'm out of here. I'm just going to sit back and enjoy the rest of this flight. <laughs> Allah, uh, fuck it. <laughs> yeah, Allah, um, uh, fuck it. There was only Zacharias uh, Musai who they was convicted. It was the 20th. I mean, right. that was it. Yeah. No, yeah. Th these guys were, were committed, man. There you go. That's... There's one chilling scene in some show about the, the hijackers. It was a movie from their point of view. Not about, like, th that they were right, but just showing you what they went, like, th their process that day and how they got on the planes and all that stuff. Yeah. And the one guy just called his girlfriend. It was <clears throat> chilling. And oh, she was a white right, girl. Right. Yep. And she's like, I love you. I love you. I love you. And she's like, what do you say? What? 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 I love you. It was really creepy. And then he gets on yeah. a plane and fucking. But, you know, she was like an American girl. I love these guys. Dated the American chicks. Of course they did. It's chilling. Where are the With American chicks, chicks that they hot. dated? They ever come out of the woodwork? Yeah, I mean, they've been talked to. There's, they had nothing to do with it. They were yeah. just. Just chicks who liked big dick, I guess. And these guys dead? apparently provided it. Well, there you go. I that, know, right? Yeah. There you go. That's uh, that's how we start today. Ed Asner, I don't know why. Dumb Ed. We kind of got to, to Ed Asner today, right? Yeah. From the Stacey Keach intro. I'm glad. But that's... there's no argument. He had nothing. Like, He's just saying things like, how could they have... That's not possible. Branch there. of the government. What? Who? 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 Where? What are they doing now? Is it still in existence? Where are they? Yeah, somebody would have updated their Facebook status with, hey, I was, right. <laughs> I was the guy. I was yeah. one of the guys. Oh, no, wait, according to that, sure, <laughs> two of them are flying for Saudi Arabia Airlines. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, really? Like, yeah, shut right. Up. That's, that's kind of a cool gig. Like, wow, you're the guys that they used to pull off the big conspiracy in the U.S. Yeah, yeah, working for uh, 75K a year here. <laughs> yeah, this oh, is great. Shut, you're not. <laughs> well, there you have it. Such a crap. <clears throat> what else is going on?